Okay guys, in my last video I explained to you how to set up your lab, what you needed to buy so you could match that one that I have there with the two 2950s and one 3550. In this lab what I'm going to do is show you how to get all this stuff configured so that you can access it remotely. with your console cable and you're going to want to use a program like putty or or something like that to to get access in there I'm not going to cover that in this video I'm just going to start off at the point where you're already inside the switch in enable mode and you're ready to put your first configs on so the first thing that uh, I like to do is go ahead and name the switch so let's do that This is going to be for the 2950 on top. And the most important thing we need here, of course, is to put an IP address on here so we can access this switch. On a 2950, all the ports are switch ports. You cannot make, make them a routed port with the no switch port command. So how are we going to be able to put an IP address on there. Well, I'll show you how we're going to use what's called a management VLAN. So we're going to type in interface VLAN 1. IP address. And you're going to want to use whatever IP address that is going to be compatible with how you have your wireless router set up. Uh, most of them are going to vend out the 192.168.0.1 through 255 network, right? So let's go ahead and make this one. We're going to need to add our subnet mask on there. Oh, sorry. slash 24 so now VLAN 1 has an IP address so when you want a telnet or SSH to this switch that's the, the IP address that you're going to use so the next thing you want to do is connect an Ethernet cable from the wireless router that you're going to be using as your access server to top 2950 switch here uh, so, go ahead and get that set up. And let's go ahead and look at the interfaces. As you can see, I have more than one plugged in. Um, but as you can see here, it, it should be in an up-up state once you have that plugged in. And the next thing we can do here is go ahead and, and enable Telnet on this switch. So you're going to use that over the VTY lines. So let's go into ConfT. Line VTY, let's go ahead and put it on all of them. I like to do that, 0 to 15. The most important thing with Telnet is you do need a password, so let's go ahead and set the password first. We're going to go ahead and make that password Cisco. It's easy to remember for our lab. There we go. We're going to put in the login command. It's going to allow us to log in and use that password. And just a bonus here, what I like to do is set it up for privilege level 15. As you can see, I'm hitting the tab key to auto-complete these commands. That's a great thing to do in case you're in the wrong mode or you're mistyping something. It, 
it can really uh, point some stuff out to you. So let's do privilege level 15. And that's going to make it so that when we tell net into this switch, we are automatically at the enable mode. We can skip over having to put in uh, EN or, you know, EN plus the enable password. Is this going to put us right into enable mode? Another thing I like to do is set it so that it doesn't time out on me. Um, in a production network, you're not going to want to do that because it's a security risk. You know, if you leave the room, you don't want access to the router just to stay open all night. Um, I like to do it in my lab because I don't have any important information on here. And if I leave the room and come back, I'd like to stay logged in. So we're going to put in the... exec timeout command and we're going to specify how many minutes until it times out by putting zero in here it will not ever time out so let's review we plugged in our console cable we used putty or a, a program like that to access the router or this the switch sorry the Cisco 2950 switch um, we put an IP address on the management VLAN with interface VLAN 1. We used an IP address that most likely is going to be vended by our residential router out of the box, the 192.168.0.20/24. We set up Telnet with the line VTY 015 we'll put a password on there of Cisco entered the login command set it to privilege level 15 and set it to exec timeout 0 If you look at our interfaces here with the show interface description command, which is the one I like to use, we put our IP address on interface VLAN 1, which you can see up at the top here. Uh, what do you guys notice about that interface that's different from the, the other ones? Well, it says admin down. So you can see uh, the fast ethernet 1 through 3 are all up, up meaning there's a cable plugged in there, yeah, everything seems to be working good. Uh, 4 through 24 are down, down. Doesn't seem like we have anything plugged in there. Uh, we're not really using those right now. But what does VLAN 1 say? It says admin down. So that is administratively shut, so we need to go ahead and open that. Let's do CompT. Interface VLAN 1. No shut. And hit Control Z. Show interface description. And now you can see it's in the up, up state. So there is one more thing I want to share with you guys, and that's how to save your configurations. Let me show you how to do that. We're going to use the write memory command. It's just as simple as that. All right, guys, on our next episode, we're going to learn about SSH. We'll also set up our 3550. We'll get an IP address on there and be able to access it remotely.